Welcome. In front of me is a Oppo A60, and today I'll show you how you can record screen on this phone. So to get started, you want to pull down your notifications by swiping down from the top of your screen, and then swipe down once again to extend the list of visible toggles. Next, locate the screen recording toggle, which might be on one of the pages, or should be, I should say. Or apparently not. Anyway, we're going to click right here on these three dots, edit tiles, and let's look for it somewhere here. And there it is. Once you see it, you can simply press on the plus, this will get added, and go back. And now we have access to it on one of the pages. From here, simply tap on it. It might bring up this uh, window right here asking for permission to things like a microphone, storage and all that stuff, just grant it whatever it wants. And from there it gives you this overlay with a start recording option. And then we have the sound, so by default it's going to record the sound of the device, but you can also toggle on microphone or just microphone and then toggle that off. So just to showcase this, have this kind of options. And obviously the close option. So I'm going to begin recording. Oh, perfect. We have Netflix right here, so I can showcase this, though I think I'm not connected to network. Okay, let's try that again. I am deliberately showing this off because uh, of what you're about to see, at least on the recording. So right now you will see Netflix while I'm recording this, um, from at least my perspective. So it is loading it. And the reason I'm showing this because you won't actually see Netflix on the recording. And this is something that uh, certain applications can utilize. It's a basically security, uh, privacy kind of option for Android applications. This is done for your own security and privacy. Just kind of flip through this. I want to po point out also, I am not logged into the application. Let's like get started. So there we go, I am not logged in. I also have not agreed to any kind of terms of use or anything like that. So, now let's stop our recording. So this uh, privacy and security bullshit that you can uh, sometimes encounter is completely not done in your favor for the majority of the times. Because the only place where I find it to be useful is in my bank, to protect my money. I don't give a shit about anything else, which is basically where majority of the uh, dysfunction is being used everywhere else, but where it needs to be. Um, so let's find our gallery just so I can play this back. Oh, there we go, photos. We're gonna navigate into the library, and here, no Google, I don't want anything from you. And from here, uh, you want to navigate to, it might be screenshots, let's see. Yep, it's in screenshots. So that's where you will find your screen recordings. And here is the one that I have just captured. So I'm gonna let it play out and explain what is happening. So like I mentioned, this is done for privacy and security uh, and typically would be fantastic when it's used in bank applications to pr protect your data. So as an example, if you, if you download some kind of malware that would be able to spy on you and see you put in your pin to your bank apps, obviously you can imagine how not secure that would be. Um, so such a feature would basically block the screen recorder from being able to see what you're typing in. This is Netflix running, by the way, right now. Uh, so, where it doesn't really make sense is in uh, garbage applications like Netflix, and especially it doesn't make sense when I haven't agreed to terms of service or use, nor have I logged into the application, yet it can F around on my device without my permission. Without my permission on my device. And there is also no option for you to change it uh, if you find such an application. It's basically on, and screw you if you want to record tough shit uh, go figure out something else. So I find this very pro problematic as obviously you can imagine when you can't record an application on your own device that you haven't agreed to their terms of use, they're infringing on yours in this case, I would argue. So anyway, I just kind of wanted to point that out uh, and also explain that if you encounter such a thing, as far as I know, there is no workaround of, around this. Downloading any kind of other screen recorder won't solve the problem. So yeah. And this also extends to screenshots as well. 
Anyway, with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.